All right, ladies and gents, welcome to uh, part two of my Adobe Illustrator 2019 playlist. All right, so what we're going to be doing in this one is we're going to be doing an effect on text called crack text. This is just something I came up with that I thought was pretty cool. Um, very basic for, you know, just something else that you can do with text. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to File New. We're going to go to Art and Illustration, change points to inches and make our paper size just a letter size 8.25 width by 11 make sure that if you hit advanced options you change your raster effects to 300 pixels per inch which just makes it a lot a higher clarity hit create you can do a save as at this point if you want to save your file um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to go right to the text tool you're going to click anywhere on the screen make sure your caps lock is on type crack text click off go back to your selection tool select that text and you should still be able to change I'd like this to be Franklin Gothic heavy and I would like the size to be 60 now if you're not seeing these right here just hit character and that'll drop down the same menu okay um, let's get this back in the center here don't forget that scrolling up and down is going to give you, you know, on the mouse is going to give you an up and down of the paper. If you hold control, that'll, and scrolling up and down on the mouse, that'll get you left to right. And if you hold alt while you're doing it, that'll zoom in. Okay. So with this text selected, let's go to uh, right here and let's change the fill color to some orange. Let's change the stroke color to some black and let's make the actual stroke thickness 1.5 it's going to make that black a little bit thicker around the outside with it selected you're also going to go to type and go to create outlines just like in the last video that's going to separate these letters so we can do different things with them um, in this case we're not going to be moving any letters we're just going to leave them where they are control z is undo um, click off here it's actually a double click off and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the eraser tool if you double click on the eraser, you can change the eraser head size. We're going to make it like 3.5. Um, and then you can go and start erasing through your text. And this is going to give it a, a little bit of a cracked effect. So this no, no right and wrong answer to this anywhere you want. And then we're going to make it 3D. And then we're done. Selection tool. Clicking back on. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, and you know what, let's do another box at the same time. And we'll change the eraser head, double click again to something bigger like 15. And we'll just see what this one looks like. Using the same process. Alright, so now I can't select both of these unless I go like this and draw a box around them. You're then going to go to Effects, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, which is just going to make it a 3D effect. Um, now, you can move this anywhere you want, and that's the way that it's going to extrude the text. Or in our situation for this first one, you're going to do, I want to say it was, just because I want my students to be able to make it just like mine, they're going to do negative 8, 8, and 0. So let's go back into Effects, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, negative 8. 8, 0, that's just the degrees of which it's turned, and they're going to change the extrude depth to be 35, and then hit OK. And you'll see that that'll give you your 3D effect, and you can change those numbers to be whatever you want. You can make it as deep as you want. So if I hit Control Z, maybe we'll just do this one. You know, you can move this anywhere you want, which way you want it to go, and we can make the depth as thick as we want. Okay? So that's pretty much it. That's a very easy tutorial. It's only a couple minutes, um, and it's just a crack text effect. If you're one of my students, you're now creating two of your own that I'm going to check. You gotta make, you know, mine make it look just like mine. Not not the actual cracked part of it, but you know, doing it with the correct uh, extrude and bevel, and then making two of your own. And try to do something more than just your name. Try to think of a, a better idea. You know, like somebody did like um, Swiss cheese or something like that, where they made a box and they filled it in with yellow they had a black outline they went to the erase tool they did different size erasing whoops that was the wrong thing 
uh, eraser. And they kind of went in here like this and made it look like it was like a piece of cheese or something. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next one, part three. All right.